everyone today I'm going to show you how to create these beautiful crystal hairpins using some really inexpensive materials that I purchased from Michaels and Target hope you like them I think these would look beautiful on a summer day in your hair reflecting all the beautiful sunshine and this is going to be a part of an art collab called love summer art reboot and if you search for that hashtag in youtube you will be able to see some beautiful artwork so after you are finished with this video don't forget to check that out all right so let's get started you need only a few things as i mentioned earlier the first thing you need are some hair clips i would recommend getting them in your own hair color if you have blonde hair i would recommend going with the golden hair clips that you get in target i have brownish black hair so i got these brown ones these were about three dollars i don't remember exactly but they were about that ballpark and then you are going to need some glue i'm using these tubes of E6000 glue. I used maybe half of one tube for this project, so like 50 cents. <laughs> and then I purchased a few crystals from Michaels as well, and they were around $4 altogether. As I mentioned, really, really inexpensive. So let's get started. I should mention that I got this idea from the DIY designer. She recently created these rainbow clips. And as much as I love rainbow, I think I would personally feel really conscious walking around with a rainbow in my hair. <laughs> I'm not that daring. But anyways, so the first thing that I did was traced out the outline of my hair clips on a piece of paper. And that was to kind of figure out my design because I have a few different types of crystals here and I wanted to figure out how to place them and what I wanted in the end and how they would lay on the clip itself. So I did try out a few different configurations because I was limited on these oval shaped crystals which were the most beautiful according to me. There you go this was my very first design and i figured that i could make two clips in this fashion and these are actually going to go as a gift to a little girl whose birthday is today she turned five and loves everything glittery and shiny and i think she's gonna love them so i started gluing them on using my e6000 glue leave the clip open when you're putting glue on so that you don't accidentally close them shut Initially, I started by placing the glue on the back of the crystals, but as we go forward, you'll see that I thought it was better if I actually put the glue down on the clip itself. Once I had my first design down, I moved on and created these two other designs. Of course, I let the glue dry overnight and here they are. I should mention that on the second day when I kind of tried to move the crystals, I saw some of the crystals coming off. So I had to re-glue them. So always, you know, ensure that your crystals are adhering properly before you wear your hair clips. Otherwise, you'll end up losing them. And the second thing I should mention is that the round crystals, which were slightly on the cheaper side, the backing on them kind of bubbled up because of the E6000 glue. So the next time I create them, I think I would go with the slightly more expensive crystals. It's nothing horrible, but you can definitely see it up close. That's the only thing. So yeah, here is the finished product. I hope you like this DIY. Thank you again for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.